The best paratriathletes on the planet descended on Paris. Qualification for the Games next year on the line for many of them in the six different categories for men and women. Now, because of a discrepancy in the water quality data that only came to light a few hours before the race, and because the health and safety of the athletes is paramount, it was decided that the event would revert to a duathlon. Nonetheless, plenty of enthusiasm both on the course and on the sidelines. Terrific crowds turning out to watch these men and women. We had the standing category, also the visually impaired, and the wheelchair athletes were the last to go on a morning that started off nicely weather-wise but would end up rather wet and causing a few problems for some of these top athletes. The relationship between athlete and guide is absolutely paramount in this sport. The technicians also that help the wheelchair athletes are absolutely vital. It calls for complete trust at all times. Almost like a, a well-oiled machine, not dissimilar to the pit crews who work so well in the pit lane at Formula One Grand Prix. An army of technical officials and helpers on hand as well to make sure that the whole event runs as smoothly as possible. With so many athletes and so many categories, Confusion is best avoided. Now, there are those that claim that paratriathlon is a fairly predictable sport. Well, that certainly was not the case in this test event. There were quite a few shocks, quite a few surprises, and athletes making uh, rudimentary errors. Kuhn of the USA was a case in point. He did one lap too few and was subsequently disqualified. Stefan Daniel was expected to take gold, but even he was struggling as the weather began to deteriorate. Just a few seconds lost or gained can be absolutely critical. Distances were a 2.5k run, 18.5k bike and then a 5k run to finish. Dave Ellis of Great Britain was going well, so too his fellow countrywoman Claire Cashmore although she was uh, some way behind the leader, Grace Norman, in the PTS5 women's race. First man home, Chris Hammer in the PTS5 for men, a man who did the 800, 1500 metres and marathon at the 2012 Paralympics. Stefan Daniel could only come in third. Dave Ellis was successful, though. He missed out on Olympic glory because of a broken bike chain a few years ago, but perfect here in the test event with guide Luke Pollard. They came home for gold in the visually impaired race for men. And for the women in the equivalent category, there was a great victory for Anja Renner of Germany. In her late 30s, the home crowd disappointed that uh, home hope Anouk Korzilla could only come in second. Grace Norman won the PTS5 in fine style. She was the first ever paratriathlon gold medalist back in 2016. And the man himself, Alexis Hankinkon, who so many had come to see, Tokyo gold medalist, made it 22 successive race wins and a French one too, with Pierre-Antoine Biel in second place. And plenty of mutual respect.